So remember how to get to Photopea, you type Photopea into Google, it's the top one. Wait a few seconds whilst it loads. Um, and then I'm going to open up that image that I've just saved. So I'm going to go to File, Open. Right, it's a bit slow, let's give it a second. Find that image that I've just saved. There it is, Woman on a Boat. And there's my image. Okay, so we learned a couple of tools um, in the last few videos, but the one that we're going to be looking at today is this one just here called the Gradient Tool. So I'm just going to click on the Gradient Tool and you'll notice that there's some options that start to appear at the top. Um, and the first thing that you need to know about the Gradient Tool is that you need to select what you want to do with the Gradient Tool before you apply it to the actual image. So um, I'm going to change the opacity down so that it's not, um, if you like, not, it's not too much. You can have a little tinker about, in fact I would absolutely advise you to have a little play about with all the different features before you settle on one. So I'm just going to drag it down to maybe there, 62. I'm going to choose what type of gradient that I want. I've actually been having a little play with this and I would really like you to play with all the different ones and just see what they all do. But my favourite at the minute is the sort of rainbow one. So I'm going to click on that one, click off. And then you've got these options here of how you want the gradient to appear on the picture. Um, and also these options here that do um, slightly different things to that gradient. But my absolute number one tip would be to drag it on. So there you go, you can see something's happened there. Then press Ctrl and Z to get rid of it. And have a little practice and a little play. I might change the opacity down a bit. Drag it on again. So it's a bit less, you can see there that the colours aren't as strong when I lowered the um, opacity down. Um, I'm going to make the opacity a bit bigger actually. I'm going to change it from linear to diamond. Control and Z. I want to get it right back to the way it was because I just want to have a little play first and see. So I drew a little line on there and the gradient came up sort of as a small box. But if I do a much bigger line, you can see that it, it creates um, a more striking sort of effect, if you like. I'm, I'm always pressing Control and Z on my keyboard to get it back because at the minute, all I'm doing is having a little play. Now, I've had a little play with all of these and I do quite like hue. So if I drag that on, you can see that it's just made some slight colour changes and I think that is a much more realistic effect than one of the other options that I showed you just before. Control and Z. I'm going to make the opacity a little bit higher. I do like this hue one, and I'm going to drag the hue right across there. You can see it's a little bit darker there. Um, I'm going to drag it into the middle. You can see that if you do a shorter line, it does something quite strange to the lines. It makes them a little bit closer together sometimes. Control and Z. And um, the other one that I've been looking at is saturation. Saturation is quite nice. You can see that it does something really quite cool there. Um, Control and Z. So all I'm doing is having a little play with all these different tools. In fact, I'll go to that one up there. Um, and I'm just dragging it on. Control and Z. Changing these. Angle. See that changes it slightly. Control and Z. Change the opacity. Change what this is. What's pin, pin light. Let's have a look what that is. Oh, that's really nice. I mean, that's quite a cool effect if you wanted to create um, like a, a striking poster where you wanted to write something on this bit and have this image sort of in the corner. You know, th this is a really cool little tool that's got so many different functionalities to it. And Control and Z, I'm going back. I just, it's just having a little play. Um, what I'd like you to do is once you've had a little play and you're happy with it, um, okay. In fact, I might just do that again. Ooh. Do something like that. Ooh. I actually really like that one. Because that would be really good for a poster. And one of the things I'm going to get you to do is, is to create a little media product with some of these tools that you've been practicing. I'm going to leave it there. So, I'm happy that I've had a good practice and a good play. I want you to do the same thing. And once you're done with it, I want you to double click on the um, name. And I'm going to change it to maybe the same name, but with the word edited at the end. Press OK. 
and then file export as a JPEG. Save. Um, mine always pops up down here. I'm going to show in folder and I'm going to drag that into my photo P folder so that's really easy for me to see and find. 